Welcome! Today we're going to talk about the Eastern Hognose Snake. Please subscribe for more amazing content. For more information on this, check out the link below in the description. It's that time of year again when snakes begin emerging from their winter sleep. But did you know that there is a zombie snake that's emerging across the United States as well? In spring and throughout summer, a real-life zombie snake prowls the land. Okay, these zombie snakes don't actually die and rise from the dead, but their incredible acting skills are pretty convincing. Convincing enough, in fact, that North Carolina had to issue a warning to its citizens about these snakes. The Eastern Hogno Snake, this extraordinary zombie of the snake world, is one of the most uniquely adaptive snakes in the Eastern United States. And it has a truly incredible defense strategy. When it feels threatened, this snake plays dead, only to suddenly rise from the dead later and slither off as if nothing happened. Eastern hognose snakes live in the eastern half of the United States and southern portions of Canada. These snakes prefer areas with sandy soils that they can burrow in. They live in woodlands, grasslands, fields, river valleys, prairies, and coastal areas. These snakes come in a wide variety of colors and patterns, depending on where they live. They are often brown, black, gray, green, red, yellow, orange, or even a combination of these colors. Some have one solid color, while others have dark spots or blotches along the length of their bodies to help them blend into their environment. These snakes are typically 30 to 45 inches long with thick, stocky bodies. When the eastern hognose snake feels threatened, it has an arsenal of defenses to employ. First, it will spread out the skin around its head and neck and flatten its body. This helps the snake to puff up like a small cobra as it tries to look big and intimidating. This defense tactic is why the eastern hognose snake is sometimes called a puff adder. If the predator is not deterred by the puff adder approach, the eastern hognose snake will then coil up and raise its head like a rattlesnake, hissing loudly while wiggling its tail. It will lunge, strike, and even pretend to bite, usually with its mouth closed. However, if the snake still fears for its safety, then it will turn to its last resort, death. 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 Of course, the eastern hognose snake does not really die, but it does perform a very compelling fake death. The snake writhes about, contorting its body while excreting a foul-smelling musk. Finally, it will flip over onto its back, dramatically leaving its mouth wide open. In this position, the snake looks as if it has just experienced a very agonizing death. For good measure, the snake even throws its tongue out to dangle lifelessly from the side of its mouth. This incredible dying spectacle works quite well, confusing the snake's predators until they leave. The snake will continue to lay lifeless for quite some time until it feels safe again. Even if you were to try to turn it over onto its belly, the snake will immediately flip over on its back and continue to play dead. Eastern hognose snakes are diurnal, so they come out during the day and sleep at night. However, being cold-blooded reptiles, they are very sensitive to extreme temperatures. They are most active during the summer, usually from April until September. Mating season is in April and May, after which female snakes will lay anywhere from 8 to 40 eggs. They bury their eggs in sand burrows or under leaves, rocks, and logs. After 60 days, the baby eastern hognose snakes will hatch. Hatchlings are usually 6 to 9 inches long and are completely independent from the moment they emerge from their eggs. The eastern hognose snake is completely harmless to humans. These snakes have a very mild neurotoxin that helps to slow toads down, their favorite snack. However, their venom does not affect humans. Eastern hognose snakes are uniquely adapted as toad specialists. In other words, they really like eating toads. They may also eat birds, small mammals, salamanders, frogs, and invertebrates. However, toads alone make up 95% of this snake's diet. As toad specialists, the eastern hognose snake has evolved to most efficiently hunt toads. For example, the snake's head is really wide in the back and then narrows to a point on its nose. The unique shape of its head gives this snake its own built-in shovel, helping it to burrow underground and dig up toads. Additionally, the eastern hognose snake has an upturned nose that makes its snout resemble that of a pig or hog. This also aids in digging through sandy soil. In addition to their head shape and nose, eastern hognose snakes have uniquely adapted teeth in the back of their throats. When toads get defensive, they inflate themselves and get really big like a balloon. 
The rear fangs of the eastern hognose snake allow the snake to pop these inflated toads and make them easier to swallow. In fact, this snake's scientific name is Heterodon platyrhinos, where heterodon means different tooth. Moreover, eastern hognose snakes co-evolved with toads, so they are immune to their toxins. The eastern hognose snake is a species of special concern in some of the areas like New York, New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. The biggest threats to these snakes are fragmentation and habitat loss, humans, and road mortality. The most well-known animal that plays dead is the possum, but did you know that there are many other animals who use this defense mechanism as well? Check out 9 Animals That Play Dead to Survive to discover them all. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to give your opinion, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.